What's going on guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Upcoming Media back with another Dokkan battle video. So part two of the global New Year celebration has officially begun. And honestly, there doesn't seem to be anything too crazy or unexpected going on here, but let's just go through it together quickly anyway. So we're gonna pop into the news real quick. Here we go. Happy New Year 2019 celebration part two. Awesome. A series of various events are available. Of course, new SSR Boo Super will show up in Dokkan Festival. Everybody already knows about this. It's the transforming STR Super Boo. And while he's a very fun unit, a very cool unit, I've said this in various videos in the past, I don't think anybody should be summoning for him because transforming Gogeta Blue and Broly, the dual Dokkan Fest, is coming right after this. So this is definitely a trap for that celebration. And as awesome as he is, as cool as he is, as much as I want this transforming Super Boo, I want the Broly and the Gogeta a lot more, and you guys do as well, so I would recommend that you save your stones and skip this banner altogether, but of course, that's just my opinion, that's just my recommendation. You guys can do whatever you want with your stones, all right? So, uh, what else? On top of that, new story events, world tournament, and extreme Z battle during the event period. Let's celebrate the arrival of 2019 and enjoy Dokkan battle, sounds good. Okay, number one, special missions. We'll get to that in a second. Number two, Dragonstone sale. So, so a few sales, nothing too crazy, honestly. 32 stones for 50% off and 91 stones for 20% off three times. So if you guys are pay to play players, I would recommend getting that 32 stone pack because it is a pretty solid deal. But aside from that, I mean, I usually stay away from those 91 stone packs and there's nothing else available. So I'm assuming that they're going to save the really good sales for the Broly and Gogeta Dual Dokkan Fest. So for the time being, if you're gonna buy some stones, just spend it on that 32 stone pack and call it a day. Number three is the Dokkan Festival. And of course we have Super Vegito as well as the Transforming Boo. Um, I forgot who else was actually featured on this banner. I remember it was a decent banner. I made a video about this like yesterday or two days ago, but my memory is really bad. Like honestly, my short term memory is really, really bad. So um, I'm gonna assume that <laughs> it's pretty much the same banner that JP had. If you guys are really interested, and um, what exactly is going to be on this banner. Go check out my video a couple days ago about the upcoming banners for Global in 2019, and it will fill you in for this banner, as well as all the banners we know that are coming to Global for the next like six months plus. Anyways, number four is the Dokkan event for the Transforming Boo, of course. So even if you're not you know, pulling for him per se, you can also, you can still get two free stones for his new event, which is, which is a good thing. Number five is the uh, <laughs> Transforming Boost. Oh, I guess, okay, so I guess that's the official English name for it. It was called Enhanced Transformation when it was exclusive to JP, but I guess uh, the official name is now Transformation Boost. Interesting. Uh, so it's the Transformation Boost Category Summon. I stay away from it. I mean, it's not good. Like <laughs> The featured units are really not good enough to justify the stones, even if it is discounted multis guys even with this kind of multis don't fall for it it's not worth it okay number six is um a new story event which is awesome unknown battle gods and majin and you recruit ssr supreme kai and west supreme kai now i believe these two as free to play units are actually very solid i don't remember exactly what they do i just remember that they were good free to play units and uh you should probably farm them up i mean what else are you gonna do, right? <laughs> There's not really like too much going on. So with the free time we have right now, definitely farm up these guys. I'm sure they'll do some good things for you guys, um, especially if you're free to play players or something like that. Okay, number seven is the low class warrior. So Raditz event is returning and he is a very, very good free to play AOE unit, attack all unit. So if you guys don't have LR Broly, don't have the STR Broly, don't have any other good attack all units, then definitely make sure to get this guy done. And of course he's coming because a world tournament is coming as well. He's awesome for world tournament. Number eight is the uh, Extreme Z battle packs, which comes, they're basically Pilaf's Trove packs that uh, give you tickets to summon on the upcoming Extreme Z Dokkan Festival banner. And uh, I mean, I always tell people to stay away from it. It's, it's your call, right? It's your money, but I would say skip this as well. Number nine is Extreme Z Dokkan Festival. So that's, there's gonna be a stone banner you can summon on as well as the tickets that you can buy. Um, I mean, if you really want the uh, Kid Buu and you don't have any copies of him for some reason, or you really want some dupes of Super Saiyan 4 Goku, I forgot who the third unit is to be honest, but it's going to be three featured units as always for these banners. So I mean, it's not, it's not bad, but I mean, if you already have these units and you are looking for dupes, 
I would honestly just wait for like some kind of stone in the future, like the red dragon stone or uh, the purple dragon. I mean, I wouldn't really spend purple dragon stone on him. I don't know. It's, it's your call. It's your call. But I would say skip. I would say skip. Just basically for the time being from now until Broly and Gogeta, I would say skip every banner because it's really not that far away. And you want to have as many stones as possible for that dual Dokkan fest. But like I said, it's it's your call. It's your call. Number 10 is Stream T Battle for the Kid Boo. Finally, I have mine rainbowed. I've been waiting for this guy to get his Extreme Z Awakening. He is probably my second most anticipated Extreme Z Awakening next to SDR Gogeta. Hon honestly, no, I really want Beerus too. Yeah, I want Beerus. And I want Janemba. You know what? I'm excited for all of them. But this is one of those that I was really, really excited for. So I'm happy that he's finally coming. And he's going to be dropping on the 22nd at 10.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Um, for me, Eastern Standard Time, if you guys are on the East Coast in North America, then it would be the morning of the 23rd, all right? And, uh, oh, Super Saiyan 3 is coming back as well. I believe this also means that the uh, STR Super Saiyan 3 Goku is going to get his Extreme Z Awakening too. Uh, not 100% sure, not 100% sure. I think I've heard some people talk about it, but it's poss it's, it, it's a potential, it's a potential. Number 12 is Pure Saiyan's Category Summon. So this one is actually not bad. I mean, compared to the other one, like this one, I think the pure Saiyan summon is actually quite solid considering all three of these three of these units are like really good subs for their respective teams. Um, but still, I would say skip, <laughs> even though like these units are all good, I would still call it a skip. Uh, number 13, we have Super Saiyan 3 as well as the um, Super Saiyan 3 Goku as well as the Kid Buu events. They're going to be available every single day, which is good, I guess, because you need those medals to awaken the Super Saiyan 3 Goku as well as the STR one and uh, this Kid Buu as well. So that's good. Number 14 is the returning event, A Hero's Legacy. Oh, Goku Jr. Okay, the Int Goku Jr. is actually a really, really good free-to-play unit. And he's uh, similar to the Tech Bulma that we just got. Basically, you can farm his copies from his event, as well as his medals, as well as all his orbs. So he's a free rainbow. You just have to put in the time and the, the grind, right? But he's actually really solid. So if you guys haven't uh, grinded him out yet, then make sure to get this done during the event period. Um, number 22 or uh, number 15 on the 22nd is uh, the Genius Bulma's Battle Prep. So if you guys are missing some or want some more support items, then I would farm this. Honestly, I, I personally probably might farm a little bit just because I'm pretty low on some, some of those really good support items like Icarus and stuff like that because I spent so much, so many of those items on Super Battle Road last weekend. And I actually managed to clear 19 out of 20 of them. Just the extreme type one is giving me a lot of trouble. But anyways, not important. I'm low on support items now, so I'm really gonna want to get some more from this. Uh, number 25 is the uh, 25th World Tournament. So that's exciting. Some more free stones. Uh, it's gonna be a big grind as always. These days, honestly, I don't, like I can't get myself to grind past the 30 million points and 20 wins just because like, it's so dry, like it's so boring. They need to change things up with the World Tournament. Maybe, I don't know, like do something with the mode, like add some kind of different dimension to it to make it a little bit more interesting because I'm just tired of doing the same thing over and over again. But anyways, it, it's it's still a good, th a good thing. It's still, um, you know, stones, still more rewards. And also we're getting a global exclusive Bojack as a, uh, as a reward. And he's actually pretty solid. I saw his stats, I saw his skills. Pretty solid unit. Um, he's going to hit decently hard. And um, he's definitely one of the better World Tournament rewards we've ever seen. So that's good. Number 17 is the World Tournament Support Pack. Skip that. And that's that's it for the uh, new events and stuff that's coming for the second part of the New Year celebration. Let's just pop over to... Let's see the missions and see how many stones we get from these missions. Okay, so complete all Part 2 missions to get 25 stones. Okay, interesting. So one stone a day from daily missions as well as... Five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine stones from the uh, limited time missions. All right, so just training, um, clear story events, and every day it's uh, one friend summon, turtle training, and uh, 19 stamina. It's not, it's not too bad. It's not too bad. For the part one missions where you have to do the uh, training in the clouds every day, I didn't really get that because... Who does that mission, right? Like, <laughs> honestly, unless you're a very, very brand new player, like, nobody's doing that mission. So, anyways, uh, I like the fact that it's Turtle School Training now, which is not... It's, it's better because it's a more useful event, in my opinion. Um, what else? What else? I think that's pretty much it. 
I think that's pretty much it. Of course, new story event, which was announced two days ago, and this uh, new Majin event, the new Ultimate Clash is here as well, which I already finished on stream. If you guys want to go check that out, you can find it on my channel right now. And that's that's all for, for this video, guys. It's all the news we have. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys are the most excited for. Me personally, definitely, definitely most excited for the Kid Buu EZA, as well as World Tournament. I mean, World Tournament also always is like mildly exciting because it's like a big thing that everybody's doing. At the same time, like I said, it's boring. It's, it's, a, it's a big grind and uh, I'll definitely be streaming it because it's super, super painful to do it myself. But that's gonna do it for the video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you guys are excited for the upcoming events. And most of all, hope you guys are excited about the fact that we were only one celebration away from Broly and Gogeta. And also, if you're watching this the day that this video is released, tomorrow, the Broly movie releases internationally. And I'm about to explode because I'm so freaking happy, so freaking excited about it. Like, it's all I've been able to think about and talk about for the last, I don't know, like, the week or two. And my girlfriend's getting really annoyed, but it's cool because she loves me and it's all right. <laughs> but that's gonna do it for today's video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. As always, if you guys like the video, make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, if you like what you see, then make sure to hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell as well so that YouTube knows you wanna stay up to date with all of my latest content. But that's all I gotta say. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.